Fair enough. Uh, now, does it always rain in Manchester? No. Well, Sam Thompson is finding out now. Yeah, he's spending the morning at Manchester's Arndale Centre. He's got all the gang there, big team of experts, a huge crowd as well. Sam, look at the draw. Well, yeah, how many hugs do you reckon so far Hello. today you've given out? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Sam. <laughs> Ooh, so many hugs, so many hugs. Welcome back to the Exchange Square outside the Arndale Centre, baby. Come on. Yes. Now, we have two guests and their pets here. I'm going to give you a clue where they're from. Yeah, we're going to take you to Dr. Scott's pop-up, baby. Yes, please. Hey. And we have some very, very special guests. We've obviously got Chloe's Glenda, Glenda Shuttleworth, a.k.a. Jodie Prenger, and also Mr. Billy Mayhew, a.k.a. Daniel Brocklebank. What a strong name, by the way, <laughs> Thank sir. Thank you. And uh, they oh, bought no. their pets. And, Jodie, you have a... I've got, actually, I've got these written on the cards because I yeah. definitely need it because you've got a... Um, so we've got a Brussels griffon Brussels here griffon. in the form of Lily. Lily, and here we've got a poodle called Agador Spartacus. Now, what I love <laughs> about lovely Jodie is that she, like me, is quite an animal obsessive. Like, you've got, like, a proper farm just bursting with animals, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I can't help myself. What's like that? How many have you got? <laughs> three cows, about 20 chickens, five ducks, oh five dogs Lord. and three cats. My gosh, and you've got these two rescue yeah. dogs as well. So yeah. Lily has got an embarrassing problem she for does. you. So let's just talk about that for a little second. She thought, do you know what she does? When I'm on a Zoom, she's got such a snort, it sounds like a fart. Oh. So it's quite embarrassing. Is that normal, that the, the snort like So, the So it sounds like you're trumping. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, no, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's the Lily. dogs and the cats inside, so, so we'll get her to have a chat yeah. to you later. Yeah, yeah. So, in the snort, can you can you emulate it for me? It's quite loud. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yes. It's quite loud. And um, does it happen maybe more when she's sleeping, possibly? Yeah, she snores a lot at night. She yeah. does. Okay. But in the day as well, when she gets herself comfy. And during exercise, does she seem to do that she as much? She doesn't exercise. She does, no. Oh, she's, she's a lazy. She's, she's a little, like, I'm doing that she's sort of lazy. baby jiggle, because she's... A little bit plump. Yeah, so what she has is basically, she is a rescue dog, but she has virtually no nose. So yeah. she has brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome, which wow. is a classic case. They've got this big domed head, virtually no nose, tiny little nostrils, yeah. really struggle to breathe at the best of times. But okay. when they sleep particularly, that's when they snore a lot. Okay. So the main things, of course, are looking to see if we can increase the size of their nostrils, right. but also get your vet to look down the back of the throat, because okay. generally it's the soft palate. Because their nose has been scrunched into their head, yeah. the soft palate's flapping, like a, almost like a, um, uh, a window, like yeah. a, basically just a flapping into the window. Right. Um, and as a result, they have this really loud noise. Is it something so I should be worried about? Or? It can be something that can lead to issues with the lack of oxygen. So, oh, okay. um, so yes, it is certainly something that we should look at. More snoring means more problems right. um, and the chances of ear issues. So definitely do get that checked out. Now, this little one has a classic issue with doesn't like their teeth being brushed. I know. He's a yes. rescue from the meat trade, which yeah. is awful. So I never like him to put him through trauma. Yeah. But he hates his teeth being right, done. I'm going to pop you down. Here, pop Lily down. Go. Yes. Here, Agador, love. Can I have a little look at your teeth? Spartacus. So Agador, <laughs> so no. Spartacus. Yeah, it sort of slightly belies his diminutive stature. But, yeah, so a little bit of ton of it. Really not too bad. You're yeah. doing quite well. He's already been kind of, kind of brushed whilst under an assessment. Oh, great. So OK, so you cheated. No, but I, I, cheated. Cheated. Look, I, I always carry a finger brush oh, yeah, oh, in, my, in my pocket, like, like you know, doesn't everyone? It doesn't no, they're, they're He's saying a no. Book. Um, a little bit of a brush, and look, yeah. it's um, put this really yummy toothpaste. Um, it's like meat-flavoured toothpaste that are really, right. really great. You can put them on and then brush away, and if you've got cats, yeah. fish-flavoured. Just don't get them mixed up with your own. <laughs> it's a bit gross. <laughs> it's a bit gross. <laughs> right, so we've got Daniel now. Oh, now yeah. You've got your little so gaggle yeah. of dachshunds. Yes. So I was thinking, like, there's a collective noun for, like, dachshunds all together. Dachshund. I was thinking, like, a, 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 no, like a wriggle of dachshunds or something it like would, that. Yes, it would be something like so that. So one of yours is got a little bit of an issue. We've got Jean. I mean, these again, these are these are all dogs trust dogs. There's a lovely lady called Carol at the dogs trust yes. who who uh, I've um, whenever they need a dachshund, whenever owner, they need they a dachshund, they give you a call. Owner. They give me a call, and so this one, Jean. Come here, Jean. How can you tell them apart? <laughs> they all look totally different to me. So Jean has this persistent Hi, cough. Hi, baby. Which she's had since she was a puppy. And when does it occur? It, 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 all the time. Um, from the moment she wakes up, and then, and, and, and then weirdly it can disappear for a few weeks. 
completely okay. and then it'll come back. No discharge at all. No, no she snot. doesn't bring anything up at no all. No coughing up any phlegm yeah. or no, anything like no, that. No, she hacks. It's, it's like a, a real hack okay. once she sort of gets to the well, end. Generally, I'm going to have to take my earpiece out, but generally when you have a cough, of course, it's more, more based in the chest than anything else. And these little dogs, because they're close to the ground, they've got yeah. a long nose, they're like a hoover. Yeah. So they hoover up a lot of allergens. So generally allergies okay. um, can cause some issues with the chest. Let's have a little listen here. Nice clear heartbeat, which is which is good. good. Strong heartbeat, we love that. Yeah, strong and clear because one of the main issues with Dachshunds as well is heart murmurs, which she doesn't have. So that's Great. good news. I would say, certainly, I mean, just as we discussed with Jody, have a look down the back of the throat, see if there's any issues there with okay. your vet to just determine that. Nasal polyps are a common one as well, but allergy is the most common, particularly in this breed. Okay, and okay. it could be something that if you use um, an antihistamine, for example, and it depresses the symptoms. Yep you might prove your point. So okay. kind of a little experiment's Great. worthwhile doing. Beautiful. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, there you Thank go. Well, so nice to meet you guys. So we, we also, we can't forget. Oh my gosh, look Mickey at this. Love, of course, the tiny little bunny. Now, Binky is a, a rescuer, a wonderful rescuer with a big heart, and she's also um, been looking after little Mickey Love here. So we keep stroking Binky's cleavage, not in that way, <laughs> in, a, in a very publicly safe way. And, so um, I'm trying to get in, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Very soft. <laughs> and can I just say, it's so nice to have the fellow golden retriever here. Can we keep him? He's yeah. part of the family oh, now. Can we such, keep him? Such a good time. <laughs> Dr. Scott, you are amazing. And, and Mr. Brocklebank as well. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I'm, I'm freezing, so I'm going back in for selfies, but I love you all so much. Come on, Manchester, baby! <laughs> where's, he, where's he gone now? Is he, is he done? Uh, I, is he just... I think there's a new bromance in town. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bye bye Tony Bellew. I think Dr. Scott's yeah. in the house now. There he is go. like a Labrador, a gold retriever, isn't he, bouncing around the place? He's just, oh, he's a tonic. Mm. He's and he's just... like that all the time, isn't he? From That's the moment it. he wakes up, he's just pure joy. He's lovely. Good stuff. Yeah. We'll be popping over to Manchester again very soon indeed. Right. Still.